I'm Song Kyung Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today, yes, another amazing life in Korea, Korean street food recipe. Yes, yes, yes. So Jacob and I went to this east coast and we were just walking around all, the, all over the places and I just realized in the coast side of South Korea, deep fried whole shrimp is like the new thing. It wasn't only east coast, it was a west coast, a south coast, everywhere. When you go nearby fish market, there's a deep fried shrimp. But it's not just a deep fried shrimp, it was a whole deep fried shrimp. Yes, like head and everything. <laughs> and actually that was my favorite part, so I'm gonna show you how to make it. So I've been cleaning up my shrimp right here. All you need to do is get the whole shrimp with the head attached and everything, and then go ahead and peel only the body part. Not the head, not the tail, just only the body part, just like so. So after that, um, you need to cut off this little, little horn from the shrimp. So with your kitchen scissor, cut that off. Then cut the, their eyes off as well because I don't like eating the food that can stare at me. You know what I mean? <laughs> and come to the tail. The in between two tails, there is a little spiky thing in the middle. And you definitely want to cut that off because when you deep fry the shrimp, this can cause like huge popping in the oil and you don't want to happen, okay? And the next thing what you need to do is take their poop out. <laughs> Some people using like a, like, oh, take their vein out. Like, no. That, that's not vain, that is poop, <laughs> let me tell you. So you definitely take that off. That's one of the reasons I like to kind of peel the skins and everything because in Korean street food, they just leave the poop and everything in the shrimp. I mean, I didn't mind eating it, but if I'm cooking it, I will take it out, okay? <laughs> All right, my shrimp is good. I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. So now the clean shrimp, I'm going to season them with a little pinch of salt. Not too much because shrimps, they are living in the ocean. They are like naturally already salty. You know what I mean? Like haters already bitter. It's like a shrimp already salty. It's kind of same thing. You know what I mean? Then some black pepper. All right, let's set aside the shrimp right here and talk about the breading. Bring some plates with a little depth and you will need about half cup of flour and two eggs. Crack into different plates, just like so. I also have a panko breaded crumbs uh, plate as well, right here. Let me set upside like like this, like this, like my workspace. <laughs> okay, just like this. And I'm going to season them each with some garlic powder. And some onion powder, all three of them. Just a little pinch. You don't want to put too much though, just a little pinch. And then some gochugaru. Gochugaru goes only to the flour and a little bit on the egg. And turmeric, yes. We are gonna make this shrimp really nice and beautiful yellow. So just enough, like a little two pinches each to the egg and the flour and a little bit to the panko breadcrumbs as well some black peppers and very small pinch of salt to the flour and the egg that's it now give them a good stir see if you don't have a gochugaru the korean red pepper flakes go ahead and use cayenne pepper or paprika those work too spicy flavor and also for the color Whisk the eggs like you mean it. You want them to be nice and smooth. All right, they're ready to go. So let's just start put some clothes on our shrimp. All right, now grab a shrimp tail and then dust them with the flour evenly. Shake the excess off and then dipping into the egg. And then let it drip the excess 
Finally, coat it with panko breadcrumbs. And just set aside right here on the panko breadcrumb aisle. <laughs> That's why I'm using panko breadcrumbs plate a little larger because uh, when I'm making flour, egg, panko breadcrumbs, deep fried stuff, I always like to lay out all the ingredients on here so I don't have to dirty out another plate. Okay, I'm just gonna continuously keep doing this. So trying to grab only the tail part of the shrimp and keep that part clean, not bread it. The other tip to bread them really nicely is using only this hand with the panko and the flour, dry hand is still dry. And the other hand just wet the ingredients so your hands will keep it clean and not making super clumps on your fingertips, okay? And see, because of, uh, we leave the tail, I was holding the tail whole time, so everything else is breaded but not the tail. So whenever they fry, the tail will like spread up nice and red, it'll be really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna clean up real quick and while you're cleaning up, don't forget to heat up your oil to 375 to 380 degrees. All right, my oil is hot enough. I'm going to start to fry the shrimp. Hold the shrimp tail tightly with your tongues and dip only the shrimp head part for 10 to 15 seconds. This way we can cook our shrimp head extra crunch and delicious because the body part will cook faster than the head. Then carefully drop the whole shrimp and cook for 4 minutes or golden crispy outside and fully cooked inside. Hi guys, this is Jacob. Um, I'm on here doing the voiceover because it might or might not have been my fault that the microphone wasn't working right now when we shot this this episode. So I'm gonna kind of explain what's going on and kind of do the outro as a bonus gift to you. Right now we're getting the cast because we had the cast draft as we were eating those that fried shrimp. Um, I'm getting a glass right now and pouring it, and we're so excited to try it. And then I realized like, oh wait a minute. I know, I, know what I, I know what I want. I had this thought in my head. I want to get a straw. Get a straw, get a straw, get a straw. But there was only one problem. I didn't know where the straw was. I'm way ahead. So Sun Kyung went to go get the straw. I'm pouring the cast. Uh, why did I screw this microphone thing up so much? <sighs> ah, That's good though. All right, so we're getting ready to try the shrimp. And the shrimp is like the perfect size to where you can eat it with the head on. I'm still kind of skeptical though. So we're like, all right, Chan. And let's eat it with the head on. If you've never had a shrimp head and if it's cooked all the way through, it is freaking phenomenal. It really is. A little chewy, but if it's done just right, it needs to be a little overdone, it's really, really good. And it's so crunch. And her batter had so much great flavor, it was ridiculous. Where did I go? Uh oh. oh that, that's when I want to go get a straw. And I couldn't find it. So I didn't only fail once with the microphone, I failed twice with the straw and then she knew exactly where it was and then made fun of me for it. But I enjoyed the shrimp while she was gone. Man, that was good. Ah, what am I going to do with my life? Aren't we such a cute couple? I think so too. Chan, now we're drinking beer through a straw, which is kind of weird, but we continue to eat it. You really need to try this recipe because this fried shrimp is great and you got to eat the tail too. It just works out that way. Oh. And she pulls me close to her, not because she likes me, just because I was out of the picture. Ah, Cass. And I'm gonna eat, I, I think I ended up eating like five or six of those and she told me to stop and I just kept eating them even after the camera stopped. Mmm, so good. All right, I think we're about ready to do the outro. So, <clears throat> in my best Sun Kyung impression, let me get, let's get ready. Whew. All right, so if you like my fried shrimp, well, wait, wait, wait. So, so if you like my fried shrimp recipe, please give us a thumbs up. A 
thumbs up there it is there it is and subscribe my channel for more inspirations and ideas of asian home cooking thank you for watching and i was well, and remember you can always cook asian food at your house making it easy and fun i'm sun kyung longest and this is asian at home and we'll see you next time bye Mwah. okay now she's trying to do all of her that's how she gets her thumbnails <laughs>